Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Shilpa Data Insights. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about one more interview question that is asked in big MNC companies. So this question is asked in Tiger Analytics and it's a very famous interview question and it's actually a real time scenario question. So uh, the question that is asked, I will be solving it in PySpark. So you can also solve it in Spark SQL, but you should be familiar with both PySpark and Spark SQL because in interview use they may ask you in answering the question in any of the ways right and I have already created a complete playlist in which I have covered a lot of interview questions which will really help you in cracking the interviews so I would definitely recommend you to go to the, those particular videos and practice each and every question because there are a wide variety of questions that I've already covered in the playlist and it will really help you in cracking it up in the interviews and it will also build confidence while actually doing uh, real-time scenarios in your project. So let's get started with today's video which is asked in Tiger Analytics for the interview question. Okay, so this is our data set which is the flight data set in which we have the customer ID, the flight ID, the origin, destination and flight timestamp. So each customer is actually going from one origin to destination and there are multiple stops for it. So for example, customer ID 101 is boarding the flight from Chennai and the destination is Pune. However, the connecting flights is in Bangalore and is in Goa. Similarly, for customer ID 102 is boarding the flight in Kolkata and actually uh, the destination is in Tirupati and from Bhuvaneshwar to Vishakhapatnam. Similarly, for customer ID 103, the origin is Jaipur and the destination is Ahmedabad from the connecting flight Udaipur and so on. So our question is we have to find the origin and destination of each customer. So for customer ID 101 the origin is Chennai and the destination is Pune and for uh, the customer ID 102 the origin is Kolkata and the destination is Tirupati. For customer ID 103 the origin is Jaipur and the destination is Ahmedabad and so on. So this is our customer ID origin and destination. There is a second question that we have that is find out the total number of flights he used to reach the destination. So the total number of flights that we have is for 101 there are three flights why it actually boards a flight in Chennai then it actually transfers it from Bangalore it again boards it in Bangalore and it again boards in the Goa so there are three flights that he has to board in order to reach the destination Pune similarly for customer ID 103 he boards a flight in Jaipur in order to uh, land in destination Ahmedabad but he has a connecting flight in Udaipur so he has to board two flights one is in Jaipur and second is in Udaipur to reach Ahmedabad and so on so we have to calculate the total number of flights the customer is flying in order to reach their destination so now you have understood this question just pause this video for a minute and think about how to actually approach this question there could be multiple ways in order to approach right so I will tell you one way there could be a second way that you want to go ahead and approach the, this particular question so let's begin with the answer if you have find out the answer well and good if not stay tuned to the end of the video so that you know exactly how to approach this particular question so now in order to approach this question what you can do is you can partition the data in customer id because for each customer we have to find the origin and destination whenever you have a uh, for each customer there is a question then either you use a group by or you actually do a partition the data in order to group it and get the result now once you partition the data by customer id and if you order it by timestamp this is will be my origin and this will be my destination right so this is in my ascending order so which will help us to find out which is my origin and which is my destination so for that what i will do is i'm partitioning the data in the customer id and then i'm actually ordering it by the flight timestamp in order to reach a particular result so I will do a calculate a row number for it once I calculate the row number then I have to find what is my start row and what is my end row right what is my minimum and maximum of the start and end timestamp or end row in order to find the origin and destination so let me go ahead and help you with this particular result so I have this row so for customer ID 101 this is my start 
So this is my first after ordering it up using the row number. This is my second and this is my third. Similarly, there's one, two, three. And if I apply row number, this is one. If you don't know how to actually apply the row number, please watch my previous videos in which I've explained you how to actually implement the row number. I'll pin that in the I button, which will help you understand how exactly it works, right? Once you calculate the row number, then what it you can do is you can calculate what is the start that is what is the origin so in order to calculate the origin the row number one will be your origin and row number three that is a maximum row number will be your destination so i'll create another column which will have the start and i'll create another column which will have end so for start for everyone it will be uh, row number one so i have all one right but for end it is dynamic it could be either one could be two could be three could be four anything right so i will implement that so how i will implement it i will implement using the max so using the max you find out the row uh, that is the end that is my three and for the customer id two also there is three and for customer id three the maximum is two so i am putting it two and so on so once i do it then you can see what is my start and my end so if in case the start is the one then i will compare right and i will get my origin when row equal to start then it is my origin and when row is equal to n, that is my destination, right? So that is how I will go ahead and get my this particular output result. So the next thing that I have in the question is to find out the total number of flights he used to reach the destination. So if you will see the total number of flight is how much? 3. Here it is 3 for customer ID 2. For customer ID 3, there is 2. And for customer ID 4, it is 3. And for customer ID 5, it is 2, right? So that's what is the result in this. So let's go to our Databricks notebook and implement this particular solution and figure out how to solve it with the help of the syntax and the functionality that Databricks and PySpark provides. Okay, so I have my cluster ready already. I have this flights data set, which is for my customer ID 101, which starts from Chennai and reaches Pune. Then we have customer ID 102, which is from Kolkata till Tirupati. For 103, we have from Jaipur till Ahmedabad. For 104, we have Chandigarh to Srinagar and so on. Now, I have created a data frame out of it. I have my schema and I have my flight timestamp as string, right? If you don't know how to actually create a data frame, please make sure to watch my previous video in which I have explained you how to create a data frame with the help of the schema as well. Now, this is my data set. Now, if I see here, the flight timestamp is in string. So in order to do any kind of manipulation, you should actually use the timestamp in the date time format, right? That will help you in actually doing the manipulation very easily. So let's go ahead and first import some functionality like the functions that we will be using in this particular notebook. And then we will convert the timestamp flight timestamp column into a date time column. So this is my particular uh, function that I will be using. So I'm importing all. You should go ahead and import the ones that you use. Like let's say for in this example, you can use the column, you can use the count and all these functions. And then I am actually converting this particular column that is timestamp to a date timestamp. So how will you do it? I am using a with column functionality. In the with column functionality, I'm going ahead and actually converting the date time flight timestamp to the timestamp okay so as i have converted the date timestamp to this let me see i don't see the output somehow so let me rerun everything to go ahead and show okay here we go now what i will do is as in the example i was showing you i have to get the row number out of it so what i will do is i'll assign a df1 on the df flight with the help of a with column function, I will assign a row and in this row, what I will do is using the row number, I will do a partition by on window dot partition by customer ID, right? So we have to partition it by customer ID and over what because i have to uh, also order it by basically the flight timestamp 
right? So once you order it by this, then you get a row number out of it. So let me do a df1.show to show how exactly it looks like. So row number dot over. Okay, so there was a mistake here. So I just corrected it. So here we have the row number. If you will see, it has row number one, two, three for customer ID one. And then again, one, two, three for customer ID two. And again, one, two, for customer ID three and so on. So my row number is sorted. Now I have to find the start and end date. So how will I find out the start and the end date? So for that, I will do a df2 dot df1 dot I'll create a column start so instead of creating a column what I will do is I will do a group by on my customer ID and then I will aggregate the function basically uh, that is my row and I'll calculate the minimum row of it which will be my start row and then maximum of row of it which will be my end row right so i have to assign a start row and the end row with the help of the minimum column of row and the maximum column of the row so let me do a df2 dot show for this okay so here we have my start row and end row so now you see there are two data frames here one is this and the second is this particular data frame, right? So I have I can combine these two data frame in order to get it side by side, in order to group it by, uh, and then I can group it, right? So what I will do is I will do a df3 equal to df1 dot join df2, and I will do df1 dot on what on the customer ID is equal to df2 dot customer ID and I will do an inner join okay so once I do it df3 dot show let's see what it shows and here we have this particular start row and end row now I don't need the customer ID in both the places so let me just go ahead and drop the df1 or let's say drop the df1 dot customer ID okay so that it drops the customer id and it has only one unique column called customer id here right so now if in case the start row is equal to row then that is the destination uh, sorry the uh, start row is equal to row that is my origin and if end row is equal to row that is my destination so that's what i will write the query so now if you will see i've written this query i am grouping it by the customer id and if in case the column row is equal to start row then it's origin I have to take the origin value right and I'm aliasing it with origin and if in case the row is equal to end row then I'm taking the destination value and I'm actually aliasing the destination so let me do a df dot show here in order to show the results so now I have my customer ID origin and destination for 101 the origin is Chennai and destination is Pune for 102 Kolkata and Tirupati and so on so this is how exactly the result set that we actually got after implementing the row number and then doing an alias so this was my first part of the question in order to find the origin and destination for each customer id so let's see what is our second question and how to exactly solve it so in the second question we have find out the total number of flights he used to reach the destination so for that what i will do is i have this row number i'm creating it again you don't need to do that again and again so i have not defined the window spec here let me actually define the window spec window underscore spec so in this window underscore spec i have the same thing that is the window dot partition by the customer id and then i will be ordering it by the flight timestamp right so i'll just cross check the column names it should be correct it is the flight underscore timestamp right now this I will run and now this is over my window spec and then I am grouping it by customer ID once I group it my customer ID I'm doing I'm actually getting my first 
origin so that is my journey origin then my last origin that is my journey destination and then i'm aggregating it in order to find how many count number of flights are there right so let me run this particular command so this is my journey summary so in this journey summary i actually am getting the number of count of the data so let me do a show of this so what i'm doing is i have this already right and i have this group by i'm just grouping it by customer id in order to calculate my first origin and the destination and then i'm doing a count star or you can also get it from here directly this particular data frame that we already created that is df3.show in which you actually calculate what is my end row right what is the end row if you count the end row for each customer then you will be able to get the particular answer so this is my answer basically i have my total flights for each particular customer that he or she needs to take in order to reach the destination so i hope you understood how i exactly have to approach this particular question in order to solve it and in this question we have used multiple things if you uh, look at it very carefully that is first is the row number so you know how to actually do a row number then you have to actually do an aggregation by the help of the group by and then you do a join operation as well you also drop the column in order to save uh, that particular column so that you don't get an error of ambiguous column and then you are also calculating the origin and destination with the help of the min and max and using the when otherwise clause as well after that you also have another question in which you are actually counting the number of rows that each customer id is having in order to find the total number of total flights he has to take in order to reach the destination so this was the overall concept for this particular question which was asked in tiger analytics i hope you have liked this video and i have more questions related to tiger analytics that i have already shown you in my playlist so go ahead and watch all the questions that is there in the playlist which will really help you in cracking the interviews and uh, if you have liked this video then do hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching and i wish you have a good day